hell? This is awkward. What? It is. Walking in silence in the middle of some creepy woods, trying to find a witch. I mean, someone say something. Anything. Even if it's about how blue the sky is. Come on. Blake, you, you agree with me, right? Silence doesn't always need to be filmed. Respectfully, your highness, that's crap and you know it. Exactly. Thank you. See, they get it. Ezra, you sure we're on the right track? Sure. Where else would a witch's house be but deep in the creepy woods? What? I mean, I've not met her. This is just a rumour, okay? But it's a lead, so we may as well chase it. Shouldn't you have a lead, considering you're the heir and all that? Magic has been gone for decades now. Officially, there are no such thing as witches and wizards anymore. Officially, right. Easy. The terrain is getting tougher. Watch where you step. If you need, take my hand. I don't mind, no. It would be best for all of us to get there in one piece, right? I'm not just the only one here in that, am I? The music. Yeah. You're not. Where is it coming from? And there's fog coming in. Magic fog? We should get out of here before... Wait. Where are they going? Ah! I can't move! For fuck's sake! Stop! Don't go any- Goodness. I never- I thought it would never be quiet. Do you have a seat, won't you? Tea, dear? I'm sure you must be cold from trekking in that dark wood. Isn't it obvious? You were looking for a witch. You found her. Adelaide, at your service, dear. Ah, those two are fine. They're just lost in the fog. <laughs> I figured you and I should have a chat first. <laughs> After all, you are the reason why you're here in these woods today. Are you not? Good. <laughs> then sit. Let me just... There we are. I hope you don't mind, but I just took a quick peek into your memories. Just an easy way for me to get caught up to speed. So you're here to undo a potion. Hmm? Are you sure those memories are something you wish to recover? Think about it. You gave them up for a reason, yes? You were protecting Blake, weren't you? Oh, those emotions are still there, buried deep. No amount of lost memories could take them away. You chose him over you. Do you regret it now? Then, if not, why are you here? <gasps> Can I tell you a story? It's a short one. There once was a woman who fell in love with a knight. 
He would swear his devotion to her, and she believed him completely. One day, he had to leave to go on a campaign for the king. He swore to return to her. For five years, that woman waited, believing in him. Then, one day, a demon appeared before the woman. He told her that her knight was going to be killed and offered her a chance to save him at the expense of her soul. She accepted, and the knight returned to the kingdom a month later. He returned to much fanfare and was gifted a title and land by the king. He grew greedy and became engaged to the crown princess. He forgot about his promises and the words he had whispered to the woman under the moonlight. The demon returned and said, See? He has forsaken you. Wouldn't you like revenge? <laughs> But the woman refused and was going to honor her deal. The pure light of her true love spared her, but she never recovered from losing her love. She died on the day of his wedding. I tell you this because you could be making a mistake. This Blake claims to love you, and it may be true, for now. But if you recover those memories, and then you're left behind, you will not survive it. Do you understand me? The magic I use to help you recover those memories will bind you to Blake. Should you lose his love, you will die. <laughs> Think before you make your decision. <laughs> Very well. Then you wish to go through with it. There is the matter, though, of my fee. Yes, yes, that will do. <laughs> now hold still. This will hurt. <laughs> like... Here, I found them. Hi. Hey, are you with me? Blake. Blake. Love. Hey, easy. I've got you. What's wrong with them? Why are they? Hey, stay with me. No, stay with me. You really should get some rest. You heard the physician. They're gonna be out for a bit. I notice you're not asleep either. Well, what do you think happened? They found the witch. And the witch cursed them? I don't know. I... I never should have stayed here. What? If I hadn't insisted on this, then... No, no. We're not gonna go down the pity party route, thank you very much. They made a choice, okay? Wasn't just you. But... I don't want to hear it, okay? They don't need your self-pity. They need you. When they wake up, I'm sure there are gonna be a lot of questions and... And speak of the devil. Hey, you should still be in bed. What are you... 
<laughs> oh, well, I guess that answered that question. Your memories are back. I thought you were smart. I need to hear it from you. Are your memories back? Thank God. I thought... Get me a love. I'll, um... I'll give you two some space. Are you okay? What happened with the witch? Okay. Fine, we can talk about it later. You scared me half to death, do you know that? What were you thinking by doing this? It's not your job to protect me! I was supposed to keep you safe. And I failed you, twice. Never again. I'm never letting you go again, do you hear me? I do. I swear it. Do you doubt me? What did the witch say? Tell me. No more secrets, okay? My love for you is true. I mean it. I choose you every day. I will only choose you. You have nothing to worry about. I would never love another. In the year since I lost you, I couldn't. You were the only one that I could ever love. You're alive. You remember? Thank God. Easy. Easy. You need to take it easy. You just got your memories back. You've been out for a long bit. Let's get some food in you. And then we can talk more. Alright. I promise we will. But for now, let's get you taken care of. Alright? As many times as you need to hear it. I love you. And only you. Always. Well, well, well. It seems that we've reached the end, at least of season two of Pain Pain Go Away. And what an ending. You've got your memories back. But what kind of deal did you make with the witch and will anything come of it? Knowing Lupin, there may be more to the story. And honestly, it's fun being able to play a witch. Even if I'm not exactly suited for it. I probably could have gotten someone to do it, but as a dungeon master, it's so much fun playing the villains. And not to say that the witch is a villain, but I feel that there's some price that we don't know about that might get paid. Maybe I'm just reading too much into it. I just finished the story, but uh, I could see Lupin going along with this and running with it like a child with scissors. That being said, I want to thank you all for watching and listening to this audio, I really do appreciate it. I want to say also that for my patrons, I just want to let you know that all of your help and support is immensely appreciated. In the meantime, I want to give you guys a, a shout out. Starting with Adriana Coop, Aurelie Orgasmic, Crywolf883, Dancerwoman22, Danny Capricorn, Dr. True, Emily, Frosty Lur, Jell Nailbiter, Jamie Lay Neal, Mango Wolf, Knocked Music, 
Nikki Two Pins, Inky Horror, Ocean Amber, Patrick Sidewalk, Rodgort, Sierra Sanchez, Tierra, Tori David, Wolfware BJs, and Zero Key Wolf. Thank you all for being so amazing. Also, I want to give a shout out to a buddy of mine. His name is Mew. Uh, some of you may recognize that name because it's the name of the musician who does a lot of the music that I use on this channel. He originally did the music for Creepy Pasta. Um, for those of you who don't know, I started off a long, long time ago as a Creepy Pasta narrator. I haven't shouted out uh, Mew in so long. And I've never done it on this channel, but uh, he recently got married, so congratulations to him. Um, but also, you guys really should check out his channel. His music is phenomenal. The music I chose for The Witch is specifically from his uh, audio library. And of course, you may recognize his cover of Running Up the Hill, which is so fitting for this series and many of the series that Lupin writes. So, be sure to check them both out. Wonderful job. In the meantime, I've got some other things to record. My uh, boy was sick recently, so I'm just catching up with things. But in the meantime, I want to thank you all again for listening. Sweet dreams and pleasant nightmares.